Yo, 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 what is up guys? Thank you for coming back to Let's Drift Media. Uh, but today I'm gonna go get some white spray paint so I can start spray painting the engine bay on the 240SX. So I'm at Home Depot right now. Let's go get some spray paint and get the painting. It rained a little bit earlier, but it's sunny right now. So hopefully I can at least get a couple coats down, let that shit dry, and then get on with the clear coat. Uh, so far we got some frog tape, some eco drop, this will be good to cover it up and it's just like a couple bucks and this stuff's really tacky. So now we just need some spray paint. Um, we got some of this white primer, paint and primer, six dollars a bottle or a can, probably get like three, three or four just to be safe. So oh, let's go get someone to uh, open this shit up. Let me get some of this white gloss. Yeah. All right, so a total of 36.59. It's not bad. All right, so we got our paint. We got our product. Let's go to the house and start painting this bad boy before the rain comes. Beautiful day though. It's beautiful. Ah shit. This car's looking fucking sexy. All right, so we are back at the pad and this car has been covered. It should still be cleaned underneath the hood. So I'm just gonna get some of that paper I bought and lay it around the trans and the windshield and stuff. That way I'm not getting paint all over my fucking car cause that's what happened last time I painted it. So let's get started. So, sorry guys, I'm actually not ready for paint still. I still gotta remove a couple things like that fuel filter housing. And I'm just gonna tape up a lot of the shit at the bottom, like the sway bar and the cross member and the exhaust and the steering column and the outlets for the heater core and the AC stuff in there. And the old coilovers, I don't really care about because I'm going to replace these coilovers. So I'm going to just paint with those in. That way it'll kind of keep paint from coming down into the, under the fender. And this doesn't really matter too much if it gets painted, but I will cover it up. But since I'm going to rewrap it in electrical tape, I'm not too concerned about that. Battery tray, I was going to relocate it, but I'm going to just keep it there. So that way I don't have to buy more shit, or at least a long cable, and then figure out how to mount it in the trunk. I'll just leave it there. It's secure, and it works, so let's do it. So pretty much got everything masked off. Masked off. Uh, and of course it's starting to fucking rain a little bit. So I'm gonna get the easy up out here just cause I'm planning on painting this shit tonight. So, yep. So it start raining. So I set up the easy up and then of course it stops raining. So that kind of sucks cause that shit was a real bitch to set up back here in this tight area. So now I can finish masking shit off Perfect. and then I'm gonna wipe everything Perfect. down real nice. Perfect. Painting. All right, so pretty much got the car all covered up. Well, I actually still need to get the wheels wrapped up, but almost got the car all covered up. Uh, I got just a big hefty trash bag and wrapped the transmission and the cross member. So that actually worked really good. Just put a market bag that I just picked up today when I bought the paint over the master cylinder. Uh, that construction like paper over the windshield and the rest of the car. So it's pretty much ready to paint now. Everything's covered up uh, almost. I'm just gonna give it a good wipe down to get like any dust or dirt off because even though I pressure washed it, it's still kind of dirty. If you want to get the best paint job, you probably want to like sand the paint that's on there already. 
so it's like nice and smooth and everything, but I'm not looking for the best paint job. I'm just looking for an okay paint job. So I'm just gonna clean it up as best as I can and spray a shitload of white on there and let it dry and then give it a nice clear coat. So let's finish cleaning this shit up and then start painting. So we got the engine bay all cleaned up and masked off. Everything that I want to paint is going to get painted right now. Uh, I wiped down everything with some degreaser and a towel. I think right now I'm ready to start getting down with the paint. So pretty excited guys. Hope this shit goes well. Um, it's going to go well because I'm doing it. So let's get to it. Also too, I know a lot of people are probably going to be saying like, Oh bro, you need to do a paint booth. You're going to get dust. You're going to get imperfections in your paint. Like really? like. Fuck that shit. If you're worried about dust in your paint, in your engine bay, on your drift car, um, I don't really know what to tell you. So. So I got the first coat, or first couple coats of white on this. That looks pretty fucking badass, guys. I can't wait to have the engine back in and be able to pop the hood and just be like yellow and white. So it's like, it's like completely different freaking white. It's so fucking fresh. So I'm gonna wait like a couple minutes, let this paint dry, and then I'm gonna use up the rest of the paint I have just to make sure it has a good thick coat on there. And then once all this shit dries up, I'm gonna hit it with some gloss coat with the actual spray gun and the air compressor, so fuck yeah. All right, so the paint's been drying for probably like 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna just throw on the rest of the paint I have. I have like about like one can of paint in, so just throw it in and hopefully I get all the spots I miss because I'm not trying to do this shit again. So that's it for today's episode. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys maybe learned a thing or two or got inspired maybe to even go do this to your own car. Let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts, opinions, things I should have done, things I shouldn't have done. But till next time guys, peace.